Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm happy to show you V3 of Logo Diffusion. This is our third version uh, since we launched back in August, and this is our most ambitious release to date with a new logo design AI model built from scratch and new workspaces, as well as 45 different styles and this updated dashboard. And as you can see in this dashboard, we have uh, four different workspaces. We have the text to image workspace, which is where we do most of the work. Uh, here we have the image to image workspace where you can turn a sketch to a logo or turn any image into a logo or an illustration. We also have the image to vector where you can turn any 2D image into a vector image, as well as our updated upscaler where you can just upscale your images using AI and generate new details into your image. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see uh, this discover and remix section where you can see different styles that we prepared for you, where you can click on any of them and you'll get this reuse settings which basically allows you to generate the same image where we load the image for you, as well as uh, the prompt I used. For example, this one is made of biotech weapon pieces and the style is digital art. Now, if I click generate, you can see that it generated that original image along with other images kind of following the same prompt. And if you click generate again, you're going to get a different set of four images. Now, the way you can use this for your own designs is you can just delete this placeholder image and upload your own. So let's say we want to do something with the Twitter logo. I can just leave it as is. And let's update the prompt to be something like a robot bird made of biotech weapons. And let's click generate. And these are the results uh, we got uh, from this. Now, if you want the results to follow the contours of the logo more, you can just uh, drag this all the way up and we can just uh, try it again to see what we get. And you can see that uh, this one is following uh, the image a little bit more, uh, especially when it comes to the wings and the overall shape of the bird. A few more changes happened uh, to how we handle the style. So now you, you can see that we have the style here, it's setting next to it, and then under it we have colors and exclude. Uh, so to start with the style, you can click on it and it loads the style directory for you. You can choose from any of the nine uh, logo design styles. You can also switch to 2D art where we have more styles available here. You can also explore 3D art. We have this new stylized 3D as well as a 3D text style and then we have realistic uh, as well as fine art so to test things out uh, I want to show you the updated uh, model where you can see that uh, for example it can do better tech it will still show some mistakes uh, but it is uh, a better model than what we have in uh, Logo Diffusion v uh, V2 so if we choose uh, logo type and let's say we want to do the word juice for example let's do cursive vintage and then when it comes to colors we can uh, select the primary color let's say orange and then background color let's pick black and you can see the two colors are kind of represented here exclude is what you don't want to see in the image it's pretty much the same as negative prompt in v2 but we just made it more accessible and easier to update uh, in here uh, with the logo type, you can just pretty much uh, uh, enter your main word here and you don't have to add any uh, more uh, prompting unless you want to and you can just click generate. And these are the results we got. So you can see it followed our prompt and it gave us a legible text. Now in a few of these, uh, you can see some mistakes. For example, uh, this one we have like two U's and uh, and this one, we got the kind of similar issue as well. This is why we have this beta tag on uh, logo type because we're still working on it and uh, we're going to use the generations that people create with V3 to improve the version that we're going to release next.
it's already outputting uh, way better results than V2, especially when you use uh, shorter words and simple prompts. And to show you one other style, for example, you can do the badge. Uh, so you can see here, you can choose between shield, emblem, and crest, and then you can choose the badge shape. So if you want something like an oval or circular or triangular uh, shape, you can just select it from here. And then at the end here, you can choose between a minimalist and illustrative. So let's say we want a crest that's illustrative and it has an oval shape. And in the prompt, I'm just going to do a pretty simple prompt, something like Panda Zoo Adventure. And then we can pick the colors. So let's say we want green and white, maybe a white outline on a black background. And let's click generate. And these are the results we got. You can see in some of them, uh, the AI is trying to write uh, a Panda Zoo for us. But uh, in here you got the basis of a logo, for example, uh, this one, you can just export it as a vector and kind of edit it in Illustrator or your vector editing program to replace the text and add your own elements. Another thing I want to touch on uh, here is the new workspaces we added. So you can see we have the image to vector uh, workspace. So if you click on it, you get this uh, user interface. You can just click here and upload your image. So I'm uploading this uh, cow image and I'm clicking vectorize. So if you give it around 10 seconds, uh, you're going to get the result back uh, as an editable vector in SVG format. And this is the result we got back. You can see you can zoom in and see the difference. Uh, so zoom in to see the difference between the image I uploaded and the vector I'm getting out of it. And you can see how clean this vector is. Uh, all you need to do is download an SVG and you get uh, the file so you can open it up in Illustrator. And you can see here I got a fully editable uh, vector that's open inside of uh, Illustrator and I can edit it or change colors however I want. Now uh, going back to uh, Logo Diffusion, we have this background remover workspace and it's pretty similar to how we did the vectorizer. So we can just upload an image. Uh, let's say we want to upload this one and just click remove background. And you can see you got the result back in a few seconds with no uh, background that's ready to be used. And now if you want, you can just uh, send to image to image. So if you click this, it just starts uh, the image to image workspace for you and it loads uh, the image in here so you can use it to, to create different versions of it. And one last thing is the image upscaler. If you click on here, you can. So let's say I want to start with this image. It's a 512 by 512 and I want to do 2x. So I can just do a simple prompt to kind of just describe the image. It doesn't have to be super detailed. So I would just say something like a young African American basketball player and just click upscale. The upscale would take around 60 seconds and you're going to get the result back. And this is the result we got back. You can see the low resolution version and then the higher resolution version we got uh, we preserved the image details, but we just uh, got more details uh, out of it. So I can upload uh, this image. If you want to upscale it again, I can just upload the 1K image we just generated from the 512 by 512 and run the upscale again. And this time it's going to uh, take it to 2K resolution. And once again, we were able to up the resolution uh, some more. And so you can see we started with this 512 by 512 image and we ended up with this 2K uh, image that has a lot more detail and it's upscaled uh, twice. And the remaining workspace is uh, the image to image workspace. It stayed pretty much the same from V2 and you can watch uh, the video we did on V2 to 
learn how to use this uh, workspace. But this is pretty much it uh, for this video. We're going to be doing more videos on V3 and how to use it and how we created all these images and how you can use them to uh, create your own. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more and thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see what you can do uh, with Logo Diffusion V3.